This, ladies and gentlemen, is the gorgeous R1250R. The, I think the unknown and overlooked sports naked within the BMW range. Today, I'm in the south of Spain. I'm down near Alicante. It's beginning of March, it's 20 degrees, the sun is shining, and we've got some fantastic Spanish roads to enjoy on this bike. Now, as I say, I think this bike is a little bit overlooked within the BMW range, because if you want a, a naked machine with, with this Boxer engine, you may go for the R90, you may go for that more of a classic look. If you want a really sporty BMW naked, you'll probably go for the S1000R. But what if you want a, sport, a really sporty, naked with the boxer engine in it but with all the tech on it electronic suspension tft all of the the top of the line equipment well this is the bike for you and this could be as i say one of the most overlooked bikes within the bmw range so i'm going to take this out on these beautiful warm sunny spanish twisties and report back and let you know what i think of this bike so if that sounds of interest grab yourself a cup of something warm and chopsy roll the intro So here we are in sunny Spain, sunny Spain, we've got username K, we've got Tim Rhodes, we've got Motor Bob, we've got some other fellows and lasses as well, let's not forget to English bike it down over there, and basically we're here to ride the latest R1250R, the naked version, uh, where's my bike, this is mine, lovely grey colour, different headlight for this year using the GS engine you know that that boxer twin but in a more sporty bike than the R90 the R90 has the sort of air-cooled engine doesn't it this has the full 136 horsepower um, boxer twin in it and then later we're going to be taking out one of these which is the RS version I think the best way to describe this bike it's like the S1000R which has the S1000RR engine in it. It's like that, but with the, with the GS engine in it, if you like. So the styling of the bike, I, I'm guessing, I haven't ridden it yet, but the ride of the bike is probably a bit like the, the S1000R, but with a more sort of torquey, maybe a better road going engine in it. You know, this, this fantastic 1254cc boxer twin. So initial impressions, you know, as most of you will know, I'm six foot two, about 20 stone. Now the bike feels comfortable, the pegs, the seat feels quite low and the pegs feel sort of moderately high, I would say, actually. Um, bars are nice and high, sort of swept back a little bit, you know, I'm not leaning forward, I'm actually set directly upright. It's not a sporty naked position, I'd say it's more of a sort of comfortable naked position. It doesn't feel like you've got any weight over the front wheel which on the S1000 single R, you very much have got weight over the front wheel because that's got like flat bars. So straight away, it's not trying to be as sporty as the S1000R. I thought this could be like the, the, uh, the boxer equivalent of the S1000R, but even the riding position is not a sports focused. So this is a bit more sit up and beg. Every time I come to Spain, I'm like, why, why don't I move to Spain? <laughs> it is, it is biking Nevada. A few specs for you. It's a 1254 cc engine, 136 horsepower. So actually pretty, uh, you know, quite quite powerful, and 139, I believe, newton meters of torque. So really rather torquey as well. You know, red lines at 9,000 RPM. So you know, it's it's more. It's all about the drive. It's all about the torque. This engine. You know, you rev it, and you know, it doesn't have much at the top. It's it's all about the bottom end and the pull. You know, so use the torque, keep it in a higher gear, pull it through. It weighs 239 kilos. So that's fully fueled, 18 liter tank. So it's not the lightest bike out there, and it's certainly way heavier than the S1000R. I want some proper twisty action. I want some proper hoonage on this ride. I want to be throwing this thing around. I've got my leathers on, I've got my knee sliders on. You know, bit of knee down, bit of knee down action. <laughs> I don't know if the cylinders were touched down before my knees. Don't know, we'll have to see it in a minute. 
Yeah, quick shift here is a little bit, even at low revs, you know, it's a little bit lungy. You know, it's, it's always been a bit like that. Lift is pretty good. But the quick shift is a little bit lungy. I mean, it's the gearbox on this bike, I guess, is the, let's say the weak point, but it takes a little bit of working around, you know. As I said, it's not the slickest of boxes. <laughs> oh yes. It's amazing how quick this bike steers, you know, 239 kilos. And because that weight is so low, it, it's effortless to change direction. It doesn't even feel like you're giving any sort of counter steering on the bars. You know, that engine weight is so low in the bike, it just tips in really rather nicely. Look at the view, look at that. You know, you can definitely have fun on this. That's a big, big comfortable sort of cruiser, naked cruiser. But then it's got that, you know, it's got that agility. Surprisingly, it's got that agility. Which you really might not expect it to. I think there's never been a more prime, a prime example of a bike not to, not to dismiss a bike because of the stats. You know, don't dismiss this bike because it weighs 240 kilos. And think, that's too heavy. It's, you know, it's not going to handle. I'm not going to be able to have fun on it. <laughs> you absolutely can. Yeah. -ha. More stunning views. So I think we're following this coastline and then we're heading north to the Almeria circuit. So we're following along this coast, head north, and then we can stop at Almeria circuit and swap bikes over. But look at look at the colour of that ocean. Look at the colour of the ocean. 22 degrees, perfect riding weather. Oh god, that, that change of direction is beautiful. The GS is great for flipping, flopping through some twisty. Just imagine what this is like with proper 17 inch front wheel and all of that. Weight low down, extra grip, reasonable tires. Woo! <laughs> what, a code there. what a thing, what a thing this is. Oh, and these roads. Bloody roads are amazing. The seat is nice and comfortable, nice and wide. Now that, that feels nice on my body. I can feel like the pillion seat, you know, initially behind me. So you know you've maybe not got that much room to move back and forward, but I think you've got some you know some decent width, some decent padding in it. Feels reasonably comfortable. And then, you know, a lot of the way the knees fit against the tank. You now you you can hang off. Fourth gear, 2,000 revs. So much drive it's got. Ready? It's instant from 2,000, and then it then sort of four grand. It goes bananas. Absolute hoon monster. <laughs> A little bit of rear wheel lockage there. But it's just that drive from this engine out the corners. That's fourth gear. You know, you, you don't need to be you don't need to be on the gears all up and down all the time, you know. You can just you can probably just leave it in third. It's definitely a bike you can ride lazy, you know? You can just ride lazy and use that torque. That torque's really low down that rev range. Ride the wave of torque out of all the bends. It's a nice way of riding. Fist pump, fist. <laughs> come on, come on, we can sort this. Douche. <laughs> fist pump action. This lady in front 
is Katie. She is a professional stunt woman. She does all sort of bike stunts for movies. She's just recorded the, the, the latest Indiana Jones. Apparently, he's got some stunts in, and she was involved in that. She stunt doubles for Cameron Diaz, and I think she's on the register. <laughs> no, not that register. To be on the stunt register, and to be on the stunt register, you've got to be specialist in certain disciplines. So she's a black belt in I don't know something martial arts of some sort you've got to have you know all these other skills some sort of driving accreditation and all of this you know to be on the register uh, as a professional stunt woman so yeah she's along for the ride she looks great on the bike she looks like she's going fast even when she's not oh yeah oh yeah This fellow in front, in the Alpine Star Zoo, he's a professional mountain bike racer. So again, I'll pop a link to his socials, but he's a professional bicyclist. Alec, we're gonna have to take you in a minute, sir. So we can see a bit of clear road. And in front now, we have Dr. Alex. Alex George, uh, real doctor, was on Love Island, season three, I think. Does a load, of, you know, really promotes mental health issues and stuff. He's a really nice fella. He's actually just bought a fire blade and he's been talking to each other on Instagram for the last couple of months, really. Watches a lot of my videos. And, and uh, when I put that post up about Mrs. Chops and her mental health, you know, he, he sort of contacted me and said, you know, thanks for mentioning that, you know, making awareness for people, you know, it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, he's a really nice fella. So he just bought uh, an 09 blade and we're going to do a little, go a little bit of a ride out and, uh, at some point. Because I love an 09 blade as well, so I quite fancy a little go on that. Full Repsol jobby. But yeah, that's uh, Dr. Alex. Well, hey! I'm really impressed with how it handles. I knew I'd do it. I knew it'd be good. I knew it'd be good. I wasn't put off by the 240 kilos of weight, you know. It's so low on this machine, as I've said. What's going on back there? But, you know, it's great around those twisties like that. You can really hustle it. In front now, we have Timothy Rhodes. Most of you may know him from Road Rides Bikes, I think his channel's called. Um, lovely fella. He's a lovely fella. He used to do work on Drive Tribe. You know, he knows the three amigos quite well. Um, well I don't think Clarkson so much, but James May he knows quite well. Uh, yeah, if you don't, have you seen any of Tim's videos, he's a very amusing man. So, so subscribe to his channel. I'll put links to his channel. And then in front of Tim, we've got Moto Robert, which you probably are aware of his channel, Moto Bob. That's the photos done. Just done a few passes up and down this road. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, this is a bike I've actually never tried before. And I think, you know, that's because everyone sort of overlooks this bike a little bit. They think, you know, if they want a sporty naked, they get the S1000R. If they want a more retro-y, naked they get the r9t and people sort of forget about the r version you know that this is sort of this is like the r9t but with all the tech you know you've got the full dash you've got the electronic suspension you've got all of the tech the r9t is very it's a beautiful bike and obviously it's air cooled it's less power than this machine you know it's, it's more retro but this is like a modern naked um you know not as nimble not as sporty as the s1000r or oh, the m1000r as well you know that that's you're much more over the nose on that bike you are set back a bit more on this bike but this is still fantastic changes direction beautifully because of the engine setup suspension's great you may be a little bit of lack of feedback from the tarmac would be my only sort of criticism around the handling but that makes a very nice you know very nice road bike and a very comfortable road bike 
But I can't, I can't, I might be being a bit harsh there because I can feel a bit of the tarmac texture here, but not 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 masses of it. You know, you'd get much more on the on the S thousand R, and I think that's just due to the extra weight and the extra support from the suspension to carry that weight. But you know, all said and done, it is uh, still a fantastic machine. I love the power and I love the power delivery with this engine as well. So uh, yeah, don't forget about the R model. If you're looking for a sporty naked, do not forget about the R model because this is actually very, very good. It's so nice to be out on some hot, dry, sticky tarmac. A little bit dirty the roads, but it's so nice to be out flying around the mountains and no cars. Oh, this is incredible. It's absolutely incredible so there we go if you've enjoyed the video please give me a give it a like and uh, i will see you on the next one i will be on the rs version of this bike in a couple of weeks time we're going to record the video in a minute but i'm going to space the videos out a little bit because it's going to be quite similar to this <laughs> so uh, if you like the sound of that i'll give you my full feedback on the rs uh, in a few weeks time so uh, thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one <laughs>